Hi everyone, I'm James here. Our challenge this week is to be a reflective learner. Now we're going to look at this through Cricket and how we can incorporate it within it. Now being a reflective learner is about evaluating and looking at your own strengths and weaknesses, then looking at setting your own realistic and achievable goals. Throughout all of this, you keep an eye on your own performance and progress, but also whilst doing all of it, it's important to invite and encourage feedback from those around you or ask others who will help yourself in making changes to increase your learning. Now for the first cricket oriented activity, it's going to start with a game called Reaction Catch. Now this is great for hand-eye coordination plus reaction timing and your technique of catching. And this can be done with any wall or any ball, but preferably a small size ball, but similar to a cricket one. Strongly recommend no corks are used, obviously to not damage anything. Something similar like a wind ball or a tennis ball are highly recommended instead. You can start the reaction catch with one ball in one hand and then all it is is throwing the ball from one hand to the other. Now with an underarm throw, you can start like that, right to left, right to left to right, just like so. Try and do this for about 10 times. Then when you've done this and mastered this, try and aim for over arm. Same again, maybe try and do 10 times or just test as many times as you can. Just like that. Maybe ask yourself if you need to step a bit further back, so when you're doing the underarm throw, you need to do a bit further back. Or with the overarm throw, you need to step back, throw a bit harder, aim it higher as well. And make sure you take on other people's advice as well. If someone's watching you from around, make sure they tell you to move back a little bit, move back a little bit, see if it improves and helps you. Take on board other people's advice and then reflect upon it. There's lots of other games that you can do at home safely, and I'm sure during the recent events you've become massive sport at home. So a few things that I've picked up on from home, and I made a cardboard box out of wickets. So make stumps is great for a bit of target practice, a bit of underarm throw, or overarm throw at the target. Um, or you can do it for practicing bowling if you have enough space, you can bowl at the actual stumps. Um, but if, obviously if you don't have enough space, you can practice your bowling technique. I've done this by using any three piece of items, so I've got socks here. This is great for practicing your technique when you start to bowl. Okay, so if you're right handed, okay, you go first with your opposite, so it'll be your left foot. So you do one foot in, then you do your right, then left, come round, and then bowl. Okay, so it's opposite. Same with your left hand. If you're left handed, you come with your right foot, so it's always opposite. Okay, so it's right first, left foot, then right foot, come through, and bowl. Okay, so all that you can use at home, different kind of things. So the way you can do this is practice on progressing. It's by starting with a, with a walk and then slowly getting into it. If you can go a bit quicker with it, a bit of run up, that's better. So if I wanted to go a bit quicker into this, I'll go quickly into it, just like that. All right, now, another mini game you may have seen is a lot is keep you up. Is using anything like a cricket bat, tennis racket, hockey stick, maybe even a cushion, but obviously don't use your best cushion at home. Um, and try and beat your score, anything such. Now there's only a few things that I just want you to remember, some key points to try and take away. It's trying to assess yourself and others by seeing opportunities and achievements, set goals with success criteria for development and work, review your progress, don't just do it and then just forget about it, act upon it and how you can get better with it, and invite feedback and deal positive with praise, and setbacks and criticism. So thank you very much for watching. I hope all of these will give you a bit of insight to a bit of things you can do at home as well. And we'd love to see what you guys have been using at home to help you progress and get better in a cricketing way. Look forward to seeing them soon. Thank you very much.